Why are you me? <laughs> Hey there, welcome back to our channel. This is our last day of the Hokkaido journey and we decided to go Otaru. Otaru is a port city on Hokkaido which is in the northwest of Sapporo on Ishikari Bay. I could be pronouncing it wrong but a lot of people go here so we decided to try since we can take a train to go here. Before diving into video, if you did not have chance to subscribe to our channel, we'll appreciate if you can subscribe to it. As I mentioned, we took a train to get here. It was very beautiful. Looking at this yellow big door and with the glass and just the scenery was amazing. And we see the ocean. Since we live in Arizona, we don't see this often. I don't have a full footage but after arriving at the station you have to walk quite a bit and you will arrive to the central location which has many stores and stores are very small and this is a place you will spend most of the time visiting that little store and shop and there's a lot of desserts as well and food and I highly recommend to spend most of the time. They said this is number one cookie. We were just hanging out in the city and walk around and snacking. Um, the day we went, it was very windy, it was cold. So after Otaru, we came to Sapporo Museum. Vinny was very excited. He can try Sapporo beer and look at all how they make it and doing tour and everything. So we have an important message for you. Learn from our mistake. Um, they actually close at 4 p.m. for the paid testing corner. So if you want to do the, the tasting stuff, you need to go there before 4. So here you can see the website says that um, we did not study enough before we visiting. So Vinny was a little bit upset. He couldn't do the paid testing. But hopefully this is an excuse to come back next time. So after exploring the museum, we at least got the beer and left and we were looking for a dinner place and decided to try the ramen. We found this from Google, high review, and there's already a little line and after we actually ate, there were longer line. But this place was so good. I feel like I'm recommending every single place I went, but this is so good. You should try it when you go to Hokkaido. 
Even their fried rice was good, actually. So after eating dinner, we came back to our hotel where we're staying. This is the place where we're staying. It is a fairly new ryokan and notice a lot of young people stays here. So if you want something modern ryokan, this is the place. For your convenience, I will put a cloak link below. And I see there's 5% cash back going on from Rakuten, so that will be extra saving for you to apply. We spent around 180 USD dollar, including tax. So that's how much you may spend it. I think there are more luxury rooms. We did not even include the breakfast and got the basic room. somehow we got a room with three beds we don't know why but it's just extra bed and nice to have it the room is gorgeous it's very modern oriental and we really like the design of this only downside i need to call out i don't know it's only our room but the room actually a little bit stink um, it's not coming from the bed or anything from the ac blowing or heater it was blowing some wet smell and we talked to the front desk it seems like they're aware of it and they gave us a febreze to spray in the room that helps and plus we able to open the window they give you a lock so you can request that in case if your room stinks a little bit for hours stink but when we walk around the hotel or i went to a public rokan it didn't smell at all So the room does not have a bathtub, but later in the video, I'll be going to the public Rokan and I'll explain more about it. <laughs> Raining, last day of Japan. Last, day. last night. Night of Japan. I don't know why we decided to go out, but it's raining, but we decided to go out to walk around and we were not hungry, but later we got hungry and grabbed some supper. Final meal, Lotharia. Final dinner meal. <laughs> Onsen? Onsen. Why you hit me? <laughs> basket. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Give me a cute basket. Onsen. <laughs> Why are you copying me? <laughs> Don't copy. Okay, let's go. Obviously, I cannot film inside of onsen, so I'm gonna talk high level. When you enter, there are female and male separate. And when you enter, there are a lot of women that are in there, and especially young people. That's why I, say, I feel like this rokan is known for young people. And there's indoor onsen and outdoor, which people cannot see you from outside, but 
inside you don't see outside really but you can hear people walking and so on it's kind of cool here because you don't have to travel too far to experience onsen and kind of in the city you can experience this At the entrance of the onsen, there is ice cream bars. You can actually grab as much as you want, they said. Um, there's just limited hours. You can grab. Vinny and, and I were too full, so we just shared one. It tasted amazing though. So this was our last night staying in Hokkaido. And next video we'll be sharing our travel journey going back home to Arizona we're flying Delta one and that will be a review slash experience video for the Delta one we will see you in our next video bye bye